Hey guys, I'm Barry with Empty Hammock. If you're new here, I have been uh, completely rebuilding and restoring this house behind me here for the past few years. It was a complete disaster when I got it and slowly, uh, just in addition to my normal job, I've been working on this place. So today I'm working on millwork, trying to get all of the old trim from the house put back as much as I can. As we were in the demolition stage, we saved all of the old trim. I really like it. You can't buy stuff like that anymore without spending ridiculous amounts of money. And I really like the fact that it's original to the house. So we're going to try to reuse it. Right now I'm going to be putting the little strips around the door frames to bring the trim out level with the new sheetrock that's on the walls. I start out with that just by ripping it down on the table saw and uh, attaching it with my brad nailer. So yesterday I was outside cutting up all of the trim, trying to keep the mess out of the house. Uh, but it looks like the weatherman ordered some rain and the clouds decided to acquiesce. So I'll be moving inside today, putting in the rest of the outlets and lights and switches and all that so kind of stuff. So what do you want me to do? I don't care. You can stand there and look pretty. Right. Great, whatever. That's going to be impossible for me to do. Got the exterior lights to work. Now it can get all covered in dead bugs and spider webs and make it look like somebody lives here. Yeah. You look confused. You want some help? Uh, yeah, I got okay. some help. Uh, a 120 hot leg from the panel hooks up to the white wire that's actually a black wire running along the 12-3 switch leg to the other side of the room. Returns on the black and red to the bottom of the switch. Your two white neutrals go together in the back of the box. Your black hot leg goes to the light. And don't forget your ground. Uh, good. Okay. And the best part is that it was cheap. Well, it, it was inexpensive, not cheap. We got it at a discount, but it's actually pretty expensive. A little got, bit of a difference. We got it on clearance. Yeah. There you go. Might need to raise it up a little bit though. <laughs>
You want some help? Sure. Okay, I'll stop filming you to help. Yeah, let's not do it over my pneumatical wheel. Oh, come on. Up the ante here. No. No, the ante's will be upped. You don't, you don't have much faith in me. Nope. Oh, there like, it goes. I don't like oil based anything. Me neither. It's dripping down my hand. Oh! <laughs> I bought, brought some mineral spirits just just for this special occasion. There you go. Voila! No feel, no opinion. All right, so I'm done sanding uh, the tongue and groove from the original porch. We did test it for lead paint and it doesn't have any, um, but we are putting oil-based primer on it uh, that can be topped with a latex paint. Um, and what this will do is just make sure that any nastiness from the original will not come through. Well, everybody, that is basically all the electrical done, which is pretty cool. Uh, of course, I still have to put on the cover plates and attach the lights to the ceiling and all that kind of stuff after the painting's complete, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, next video is gonna be trim, getting all that done, and really we have floors, installing the kitchen and bathrooms and plumbing, and that's it, and then you'll never see me again. No, I'm kidding, that's not, no. That's not true. Uh, I have a, a lot of stuff planned actually with the profit from this house. I'm going to build onto my house and uh, give ourselves a little bit more space. So I got a bunch of stuff planned for next year. Um, it's going to be good. Thanks for watching.